Hey guys, welcome back to Angela's Kitchen. I am by myself today, but we are going to be making apple cider. This is the perfect drink for fall. It makes your house smell divine, and you can also have it cold or hot. So when you put it in the fridge after you're done making it, you can then put it on the stove or back in the microwave to heat it up again. So let's get started. All right, so you'll need an instant pot. You will need six, well, three different kinds of apples, but two of each apple, if that makes sense. Um, so if you need a gala apple, you would get two of them. Um, and then two oranges sliced up, ready to go. This is a fourth cup of coconut sugar. And this is a ton of stuff I'll have down below because I can't remember all what all of it is right now. So I'll, I'll have it down below. And then you'll also need a cheesecloth and finally a twist tie. So first thing we're gonna do is just take a bunch of different fruits and throw them in. Cue the music, so this is gonna be a minute. I'm just listening to me breathe. Good. That part? Mom singing. Oh. Okay, then we're going to add filtered water just to the top of it. Perfect. We'll then add in our coconut sugar on top. And we're going to put this stuff in the cheesecloth. That way it's easy to pull out at the end. And you're gonna wrap it with a twist tie. You may need another person for this. Right, I think I got it. Then you're just going to mix this up before you put in all of the spices. Throw the spices in. This is what it looks like before we take it over to the Instant Pot on high for 15 minutes. fun. The struggle is real. Okay, now that feels like 30 minutes has passed because as you know with an instant pot it has to have time to add pressure. But after 15 minutes of this being under pressure, it's done and this is what it looks like. So, I'm actually going to invite the dude in here himself to test this out with me. So, First things first is we are going to ladle out the juice. Oh, and I did take out the uh, little packet full of stuff. It's like apple pie. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Alrighty. Okay, now that I have the juice out and in our glasses, I'm going to add one cinnamon stick to each. And then for my dad, I'm gonna be adding some whiskey into his because the dude cannot have a drink without booze. All right, Dad, you ready? Come on in. All right, you ready to try this? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Angela. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. It smells so it's good, right? Stu it's like an apple pie. Yeah. Or something you would get during the holidays. It's like a candle. It smells like a candle. Holy I'll boy. I'll myself again. Oh yeah, well, you don't know how to drink. <laughs> I didn't put booze in mine. Well, Maybe that would have cooled it down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there you bit. go. 
Made to put some ice cubes in it. You made me sound like an alcoholic in that, so. <laughs> I already I know, know you I know are. I, agree. I know, I know. <laughs> Man, that is good. I didn't learn to drink from you, apparently. Wow. Um, I could drink this all the time. Oh, good. This is amazing, guys. <laughs> this is truly, truly amazing. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. All right, guys, there you go. Recipes down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. I can guarantee you guys are going to see a lot more of Angela on Angela's Kitchen. She rocks it. All right, guys, remember, the dude abides on Angela's Kitchen with this drink. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.